In this lesson, I'll teach you how to split data into five parts. This is called the five number summary. Then I'll show you how to represent it visually using a box and whisker plot. Before I start answering the question that's been prepared, remember that the median divides a data set into two halves. It's the midway point in a data set. The set of numbers below the median is called the lower half, and the set of numbers above the median is called the upper half. The median of the lower half is called the first quartile and is indicated by Q sub 1. The third quartile denoted by Q sub 3 is the median of the upper half. The five number summary of a set of data values consists of the following. The minimum value, Q1, median, Q3, and the maximum. So with that being said, the question reads, consider the list of ages of presidents shown underneath. Find the following for this data set. And in question A, the lower and upper halves. To find the lower and upper halves, we need to identify the midway point of this data set. So make sure that the data is written in ascending order, and it is. We have 42 as the lowest value and 69 as the largest value. And the data consists of 19 observations. So the midway point will be 19 plus 1 divided by 2. That's equal to 20 over 2, 10. So the tenth observation is the midway point. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is the median. And so everything to the left is the lower half. And everything to its right is the upper half. They are asking for the lower and upper halves, and that's what you would write down. This is the lower, what's highlighted in yellow, and what's highlighted in pink or purple is the upper half. In question B, the first and third quartiles. For this, you need to find out the midway points of the lower and upper half. So let's begin with the yellow highlight. How many observations do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, an odd set, that's good. So we can take 9 plus 1 divided by 2, and that is 10 over 2. The fifth observation is the midway point, and that will serve as the first quartile. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 51. And for this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's 60. So we have 50 for the Q1 value, and 60 for the third quarter, or Q3. In question C, the five number summary, they want the whole thing. We write down 42, that's the lowest number, and then the Q1 value is 50, the midway point or the median is 54, then 60, and then the largest value being 69. Now to represent this data visually, we create what we call a box and whisker plot. The steps of doing a box and whisker plot is shown right over here. But rather than going through this, let me just show you how it's done. First of all, we are dealing with data that represents age. So the horizontal axis in our plot, let me just change the color here. The horizontal axis will represent age. The minimum value was 42. The maximum value, 69. The median was 54. And of course, you need to do this to scale. The median will be part of our rectangle. And the first quartile was 50. So that's the extent in which our rectangle will extend to 50. And the other quartile was 60. So we can say that this represents 60. We then draw horizontal lines extending from the edges of the box. So think of something like that, where this represents 42 and that represents the number 69. This part is called the whisker. And of course, that's the box. And so there you have it. That is how to represent data using the five number summary and visually using the box and whisker diagram.